In this video, I'm gonna take you along at an architectural photo shoot in New York City, and I'll show you how I process one of the images in Photoshop. If you like this video, it does help the channel to give me a like. And if you like this kind of content, architectural, landscape, fine art, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future videos. Let's get started. I made it into the city and uh, I'm not going to travel too far. I'm going to look for some architectural shots right around Grand Central if I can. There's not a ton around here, but I think I can find some stuff if I'm patient. Uh, by the way, new microphone. I finally got a wireless mic. This is the DJI mic. This is my first time using it. I have no idea how this is going to sound. I hope you can hear me. Um, but this is a good test for me. Well, I did find this building on the corner of 44th and 2nd, which I do kind of like these angles. Uh, if I use a wide angle lens, I'll capture it. There is this sort of somewhat ugly, in my view, sculpture in front but maybe I can make that work as well. I might walk around a little bit, but wouldn't be surprised if I come back to this, uh, this spot. Well, there are some pretty cool buildings on the far east side of Manhattan here in the low 40s, 43rd, 44th Street. Um, my only issue is we're right by the UN. Uh, some of these are diplomatic offices. So I suspect if I get my tripod out and start taking pictures, I'm probably going to attract some attention. In fact, I'm just passing the uh, Venezuelan embassy back of me here. No security around, but still, I think I'm going to be cautious. Well, I didn't love uh, the buildings around there. Just couldn't get a good clean shot of anything. So I'm gonna make my way south a little bit down to 38th Street. I know there's a building there that is pretty interesting because I've shot it before, but it's always good to go back to a location you know. Things are always different. So it's only about four blocks away, uh, less than a quarter of a mile. Well, I made it down to the Corinthian condominiums. A uh, really cool building that I've shot before from a different angle. I kind of like this angle. The sun's hitting it pretty sharply here. Hoping I get some clouds in the sky. It's supposed to turn a little cloudier, so I'd love to get some streaking clouds above this building. Well, I'm just gonna get some handheld shots first. There's, I gotta take my lens cap off. There are really no clouds in the sky. And so uh, a long exposure doesn't help me too much. But there are some clouds moving in. Hoping I get a dramatic shot here. Well, 
Well, I did get some clouds coming across the sky. They were really defined for about 30 seconds. And now they're a little mushy. But I did put my uh, neutral density filter on, my 10-stop ND filter, so I can go out 30 seconds, uh, which should be enough. But unfortunately, the clouds aren't, aren't perfect at this point. I may not get that lucky. We'll see. Well, I'm just going to keep shooting here. I'm hoping uh, I get some good clouds. I think there's getting a little bit better here. Ideally, you get very defined white clouds against some blue sky, so you see the streaks coming across the sky. Uh, right now, they're just not very defined, unfortunately. The building's great, though, and the sun is hitting it really nicely, which is great. Well, I do like this composition. Uh, one, because it's some pretty nice symmetry here. I love those curves in the building, but in addition, there's no other buildings that are sort of encroaching upon my frame, so I can really isolate this building. Of course, I can always take other buildings out in Photoshop, but I'd rather not, and so this allows me to, uh, to isolate this building pretty well from this angle. Well, I'm using a 10-stop ND filter, and that's allowing me to get out to about 30 seconds. Uh, to do that, though, I'm having to really close down my aperture, so I'm at f22 at ISO 100. And again, I'm getting a good exposure at 30 seconds. I could always put another ND filter in on top of it and stack them and do an even longer exposure. I'm not sure it would help me that much. Um, plus, I'm a little lazy. I have to walk all the way over to my camera bag over there and get another filter out. God, God forbid I have to do that. Now, one nice thing about this, uh, this spot right now is that the clouds, when there is cloud movement and you can see it, they're coming straight over the building, and I really like that. Uh, here's an image I took probably about six months ago where I had the perfect cloud formation going over a building. I never get this lucky the one time, but uh, this morning is not going to be as good as that, but it'll be, uh, hopefully it'll be okay. I think I got some okay shots there. I'm just gonna walk around the building, maybe take it from a different angle. I don't think I can do better than this, but uh, I am here. I might as well spend a little bit extra time and see what else I could possibly come up with. Well, I am getting some shots from this angle where I've got these trees in the foreground. And you see the building emerging from these trees. It gets framed a little bit. The problem is it's a huge dynamic range where these trees are much darker than this, sorry for the noise, for the sky up there. And uh, so I'm really exposing for the building letting the sky get blown out. Not a great shot, but I'll show it to you anyway. I don't love the other angles of this building, so I'm going to call it quits for today, head home. Um, if you're really into Photoshop, stick around. I'll show you how I process one of those images in Photoshop. If that's not your thing, uh, I'll sign off here. But if you like the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Uh, and if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future videos. And until next time. It was a fun morning in New York City, uh, and I was pleased with the images I got uh, on my computer now. And what I want to do is show you how I turned this image into this image, which is the one you saw in the video. Uh, I have already done some work in Lightroom. I converted to black and white. I increased clarity a little bit, brought up the shadows a little bit, uh, but didn't do too much. And while I like the composition of this, uh, it is a little flat. And I definitely want to do a couple things, uh, make it more dramatic and punchy, and accentuate certain uh, architectural features of the building. Um, I have already made selections in, uh, in Photoshop. I selected the sky, and of course, then I selected the building by just inverting that selection. 
To make those selections, I use the polygonal lasso tool. That was a little tricky because essentially I'm using a series of straight lines. But the lines in this, uh, in the, on this building are not straight. If I zoom in, certainly you can see on the top the curves, but even on the side, uh, I really wanted to get close to the sides. And these are not straight lines. They really has a, have some curves to them. So it was very meticulous and boring. I put some music on and I made those selections. In addition, I selected different parts of the building, which I will show you. Um, the first thing I want to do is uh, make that sky more dramatic. There are some streaking clouds, but again, it's a little flat. And so uh, let me select the sky. And again, I made the selection, I saved it. So I go down to load selection and I will choose sky. And you can see the marching ants around the sky. I'm going to use a curves adjustment layer, which is really what I'll be using throughout most of this uh, process. And uh, I want to darken it, but add some contrast. So to darken anything, of course, you, you're going to pull down on this curve and the whole thing then becomes darker. But if you pull up on the right side, you'll brighten up some of those, uh, some of those highlights in the sky. And so you're creating a bit of an S curve, but overall you are darkening the image. Uh, and so you can see here's the before, here's the after, uh, quite a bit more dramatic. Uh, let's look at the building now. So if I'm gonna, I'm gonna load the selection of building. Uh, here too, I wanna add some contrast just to start off. And so I'm gonna use a curves adjustment layer. I don't want the building to be too dark. In fact, I want it to be maybe even brighter. So I'm gonna pull up on the right, that will brighten this selection, pull down on the left, and that will darken the shadows. And you can see, I'm just adding some contrast there. So here's the before, fairly flat. Here's the after, more contrast. And actually, this by itself is really not so bad. But I think I could do more. Um, one thing I really like about this building are those curved windows that run up and down the building. Uh, this is a big building. I don't know how, how many floors it is, but, uh, but it's got to be pretty cool to live in one of these apartments and, and have that curved facade of your living room or, or bedroom or something. But I want to accentuate that. And the best way to do it is to really brighten up just the center of that column. And so what I did was, uh, let me load a selection. I'll show you what I did. Uh, and I, I numbered them. There's five of those curved facades, so I numbered them. I'll choose number three. Uh, and so you see in the middle, you get these marching ants uh, around that one selection. This selection doesn't have to be so precise. I just use straight lines to select it. Um, but once it's selected, I want to choose a curves adjustment layer. I'm going to pull up and you'll see that whole selection, that, that curved facade gets brighter. Um, then I'm going to reselect it. So I go to select, I go down to reselect. I'm going to choose a gradient tool. And specifically, I want to choose a reflected gradient tool. I want to make sure my foreground color is white. You can see down here it is. And what I want to do is pull out from the center of the selection just slightly and you'll see the middle of the selection will become brighter. Um, I got very lucky by the way here because it's kind of tough to get that line straight. Here's the before and after. It's not perfectly straight but you do have to play with it. When you have a long column like this what ends up happening is you'll probably do this. You'll have a tilted curve You'll go the other way and you really have to play with it until you get comfortable with uh, with what it looks like. I'm going to just stop there. Just it'll take me too long to figure it out. Uh, but basically, you know, here's the before, here's the after. And you can see it really does accentuate the curve. Uh, I'll do one more. So let me go up to select, load selection. I'll choose number two, let's say. And again, I'll choose a curves adjustment layer. I'll pull up to brighten up this selection. I will reselect, go to my gradient tool, which is already selected, foreground color is white. And again, I'm gonna pull out from 
the middle. Um, and you get a sense. So here's for both of these selections, here's the before and here's the after. You do get that sense of, uh, of accentuation of the curved facade. Uh, typically what I'll do is let me deselect uh, this, this selection by hitting Command D. I'm on a Mac. Um, you know, certainly towards the end, I will want to uh, add contrast to the whole image. And so I'll choose a curves adjustment layer for the whole image and pull up on the right, pull down on the left. And so, you know, that, again, I did a little bit more. Oh, one last thing I did, by the way, I wanted to create a bit more contrast between the curved facade and some of those columns running down the middle. And so what I did was I made a selection of these, I call them sides, but the sides of the building, which were not really facing directly uh, to the sun. And I wanted to darken those a bit. So I made the selection, I choose the curves adjustment layer, and I'm gonna pull down. And you can see by doing that, it darkens some of these the sides of these panels. Uh, it makes the curved facade pop a little bit more. But that just gives you sense. It was a pretty, other than making the selections, it was a pretty quick, edit for me and I do like the building and I like uh, the photo that I captured in those streaking clouds. Um, hey, if you do find this video to be helpful, it does help the channel just to give me a like. Uh, and if you want to see more of these, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future content. And until next time.